Hello Knights fans, I'm Mike Balestra, Director of Athletic Communications. Joining me today to discuss the past uh, men's and women's track seasons as Director of Track Operations, Jerry Wimberly. Coach, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's start with the men. Another memorable season, back-to-back uh, -back championships. Just uh, what are your thoughts about the past season in general? Well, um, overcame some ob obstacles uh, to get to the point mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to win the championship. Mm -hmm. I thought this year was a good year. Mm -hmm. The ending of the year was a good year. Uh, we all fought and, and reached the goal that we should have, we wanted to reach. Great. Yes. Good. Now, the women didn't have as great a year, but, but I want to talk about them for a moment. Um, particularly, Diane Atn. Uh, you know, your senior, your thrower, she made all conference for the shot put. I mean, you saw her all year. How would you, how would you assess the progress she made and how would you assess her performance overall? I think she had a good year, mm -hmm. um, worked very hard, mm -hmm. um, and reached the goal that she wanted to reach. Um, one of the best in the conference. For sure. Um, and For sure. and um, she really put in the time and the effort. Great. Now, let's switch over to the men. Um, I mean, to me, this team, uh, you know, begins and ends with, with a lot of the runners. Uh, just talk about, you know, your, your, your junior from Florida, Kurt Samuel. What did you see from him, and what did you like from him? Let's start with Kurt. Well... Of course, this was my first year, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I was indoor, mm -hmm. did the indoor season, and also um, I saw Kurt during the indoor season, but really didn't see much of Kurt in the indoor season. Mm -hmm. And he really showed me himself in the outdoor season, showed me how a hard worker he was, mm -hmm. what type of kid he was. And, mm -hmm. You know, he was really he was really one to go at it, and all the accomplishments that he received, he worked for those. Of course. Now, there, there are two other uh, guys who stand out to me, the distance guys, both Queens guys. Um, one is Tyler Bay, the other is Peter Kramer. Uh, let's start with Tyler. How would you assess his past season? Um, <laughs> Tyler's a funny guy. Um, he's very smart in basketball. I thought he was a basketball player for one, at one That's point. That's true. But um, works hard, always running, mm -hmm. um, consistent at what he was doing. And uh, I thought Tyler had a really good year. He helped us out a lot. Mm -hmm. Very consistent. Very good attitude. He could he could be a good boxer if we could get well, him down in a good way. <laughs> now, 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 Peter Kramer, I believe, made all conference at two different distances. How would you uh, how would you assess his past season? Well, you know, Peter's the same as Tyler. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Peter's a hard worker as well. Um, those kids love to run, uh, always running, um, and he was again assist consistent mm -hmm. at what he was doing. Terrific. Now there were. Um, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention a couple of throwers who really had 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 strong seasons. Um, just overall, I mean, Michael Glantz, Chris Penza, Liam O'Connor, um, uh, Vinny Vinny Frado. I'm sure I'm probably forgetting a few guys. Right. But how would you assess Greg Gromling? Of course, thank you. How would you assess all your throwers? I mean, they just dominated everything it seemed. Well, um, <laughs> it all starts from the coach. Okay. Joe Ber Bercaccio. Yeah. Very, very, very good coach. Yeah. Not just that, but he set a standard for those kids. Mm -hmm. You know, and it started with discipline as well. Mm -hmm. Very disciplined kids. Um, he had them on a regiment that they worked hard, and those kids really performed because that's just what they knew. They just knew hard work. And they were very competitive, mm -hmm. which kind of helped us in regards to our sprints and our distance runs because when we came in, we had to settle that and get that situated. And um, um, great, great, great throwing program. Cool. Now, our fans who follow the team know, you know, have learned about you and your mantra of, of setting goals and reaching goals. Well, let's let's look ahead real quick to the to next year. What are your what are your early goals for the 2015 season? Getting them all to qualify for the nationals. Okay. Um, you look at it and and, and competing and and and. and and, and competing in your conference and doing things in your conference. We've done that. Mm -hmm. We've won two conference championships back to back. What's the next step? Everybody should be reaching a goal to try to reach the Nationals. Mm -hmm. When we do that, then we've really, really, really worked on some things in the summer. Perfect. Well, that was uh, our men's and women's uh, director of track operations, Jerry Wimberly. You can follow the track teams and all the other teams at www.queensnights.com.